good morning, afternoon, wherever you may be at or whenever you're listening to this. I'm so excited to come to you today with something that I woke up at 3.30 this morning. Ah, oh, at first I was like, oh, I was frustrated, I was angry, I was like, why can't I get back to sleep? Finally, I just decided I was going to wake up, I pulled out of bed around 3.45, 3.50, and I asked Heavenly Father, which is my higher power, I asked him, what do you want me to do? And he told me, or excuse me, I felt prompted that I should listen to a certain talk. So I went and I listened to that talk, and I really didn't know why I listened to that talk. I, 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 it was good, but I didn't know why. But then it got me thinking about how many times we feel prompted to do something, and we do it, and we just don't know why. Well, some of those times we feel prompted to do something, and we start working on it and we're building it and it's just not going like we thought it would. I like to think it was, here, here's me. I am prompted, or let's say it's you, I am prompted to accomplish this goal, this task. It could be uh, starting up a new business, it could be starting up uh, having a conversation with your child, it could be having a conversation with your husband or, or your work or any number of things. It could be just feeling like you need to go help somebody. So that thing that you're thinking of is we're going to just call this is the star. This is where we need to get to. This is what we want to arrive. Well, in the process, we're, th we're all excited, we're like, yeah, we're, we're making it, we're making it. But then we get like halfway. We start seeing all the success and we get halfway and we kind of just keep going and going and going. And it's almost like we're going, but this thing that we're trying to get to <laughs> is not getting any closer. And matter of fact, we seem to almost be passing it up and not in a positive sense that we're passing it up like we're missing an opportunity. We're missing something. We're not able to, to reach up and get that. And it's in these moments that you, you get frustrated, you get angry, we get upset. It's like, why was I asked to do that? Why did I go down this path? Why, 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 why? Well, this is where I want you to step back just for a moment just for a moment and realize that yet yeah, you've gone through all of this and you've made tremendous strides you've gone and you've done all of this now you might not be getting this goal or this action that you're wanting but during this process you learned a lot so now is the challenge to take that knowledge which we've learned and to apply it in other ways. And so yeah, I took this this morning, I belong to several mastermind groups and one of the mastermind groups I was, I was listening to this morning with one of the, excuse me, one of the individuals in the mastermind group that I was listening to this morning, he has been working on something for five years, five years. I mean, he has just been diligently pursuing this, going after it, and it involves all kinds of different groups. And as he's going after it, they're saying, okay, we need this amount of money, we need this, this. He's coming up with all of this stuff. So he's, he's in this process. I mean, this is the first year, second year, third year, fourth year. So we're finally in this fifth year here I'm going to modify this a bit. We're finally in this fifth year here, and he's so close to his goal, so close. And he's coming along, and he's thinking, oh, yes, I'm going to be able to reach my goal. And he's walking and walking. But the problem is the money 
that he was giving them, they were just taking it on this goal. They had just taken his money, all his money, all these investors, everything that he's been working on for these years and years and years. They just taking it. They're stealing it from him. And we're not talking like a few pennies here. We're talking about thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, when this happens and we're walking along and all of a sudden we get this huge, I want to say this, this huge problem, challenge. I mean, here's his goal. It's almost within reach, almost within reach. And here's this tremendous problem that he's now faced with. I mean, he's now having to go after him to try to get his money back and all this. Well, here's, here's the challenge. Here's the problem we're faced with is how we react. Because how we react is critical. Now, he's kind of down, rightfully so completely understandable but when we're down when we're frustrated when we're angry we are not in a creative solution mode we we are exact opposite we're in the destructive mode we're in the, this nothing's working everything's falling apart and we, we don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. We don't see anything that possibly positive at all could come out of this. So I t told him, I said, step back and write what you learned. What is it that you learned through this process? I said, you know, can you put it in a little booklet form? Can you put it in a uh, a way to give or to reach out to somebody and to become a consultant for that person or for that industry? Is there a way you can take the knowledge that you've gained and build a whole new business, a whole new industry or something? And one of the things he said is he said, actually there's been a lot of things I've learned that I wouldn't have learned any other way. I thought, how powerful, how powerful. Because now the fact that he's realizing there's things that he learned that he wouldn't have learned any other way, he's now starting to go into a creative solution, problem-solving mode. And so I've got some notes here that I want to make sure I address. And uh, sorry, the lights are blinding me. <laughs> so I've got my lights going to adjust. And... So in this process, he has all kinds of opportunities now. He could write books on this. He could become an a industry leader on this. And he could become a consultant. He could take this and now he knows exactly what not to do, what to look for, what not to do, and what to go for. In the process of his learning, he's gained so much that another investor who's wanting to invest in this type of a thing would be silly not to hire him. Would be silly not to. Because he's already been there. He's been, he's been down that path where now he's been taken advantage of. Money's been stolen from him. And he could just sit, throw in the towel and say, okay, forget it. I'm not even going to go there. Th this, this chasm, this problem is too big that I'm not going to jump over it. I'm not going to figure out a way to build a bridge to get over this so that I can use all this knowledge so that I can gain and reach my goal. And until we recognize the lessons that we've learned and then we can start applying those, we're not going to figure out a solution. We're not going to be able to get over this huge uh, chasm or problem or challenge that we're facing. So I want you to think about in your life, what are the challenges that you're going through? What's the goal that you've been reaching for and haven't been able to reach it? What is it you've been working on 
and identify what you've learned. Identify the lessons learned so that then you can figure out how to overcome this problem. That's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for listening. I value and appreciate you listening and sharing this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are amazing and you ha each have so much value to give to the world and offer to yourself. Realize that and go out and share it. Thank you. Have a great day.